the rods knocking like crazy. Listen to this thing. Just listen to this thing. It squeaks when you pull it through. No compression. Uh, let's pull the muffler and then we're gonna pull the jug and then let's just see what kind of uh, trauma, kind of damage we got. Oh yeah, guys, she is a crispy critter. She is burnt up. All righty, we're gonna go ahead and pull this cylinder off. Just four screws. Okay, we're gonna slide this dude off. Man, this thing is just worn out. All the Nicosil plating is gone off of this cylinder. As you can tell, we have super thick carbon buildup. Let me turn this thing over and show you this exhaust port right here. As you can tell, it's about 50% clogged. You can see the outline of the carbon and that carbon buildup when it starts to build up, it starts to scrub on the piston, the piston skirt, and just wreaks havoc on the uh, the rest of the engine as it starts flinging off carbon bits and gets down in the bearings and whatnot. And it just wears a groove in the piston and just literally just wears out the engine like liquid sandpaper. The intake side of this piston is scuffed pretty heavy on the exhaust side we've got some pretty deep laceration now if we look close here to this piston the ring groove is just completely coked and caked with carbon and i literally had to dig out the piston ring Oh wow, look at that ring in gap, how wide that is. Just wore out. The wrist pin bearing is shot. Now you'll have side to side play a little bit, but I'm taking the piston and literally twisting it and I can feel the play in the wrist pin bearing. And that's where the knock's coming from. There's a little bit more play. Once I rotate it around towards, there we go. It's like it's trying to lock. The big end bearing Got a little bit of play, but not excessive. But all of this down in here is just grit.
and dirt. Guys, I've got several videos and I'm gonna try to put them all in one playlist so you don't have to search for the videos. But I've got a uh, two-stroke, uh, several two-stroke videos on how to diagnose this. And so I'm gonna, in the description or maybe even in the comment section, I'll pin my own comment to where you can go and watch the two-stroke series that I've done here in the past. You really need to go and watch that and I think it'll help you guys out tremendously. Hey, if you're new to this channel, let me know and uh, welcome. If you're a subscriber, thank you for watching my videos and sticking with me. And guys, have a good rest of your Thursday and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.